Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to the Read to Me Miss Tracy Storytime video. I've been over at the I See Me um, African American Children's Bookstore and got a whole mess of books to read, like some of these titles right here. I can't wait to read a story to you. And you know what? But you know what I can do? I can take a little time to wait for you to, to hit that little subscribe button. You see right there where it says it's got the red letters and you hit subscribe. Boom! Hit that for me, please. Like, share. Don't keep Miss Tracy a secret. Don't keep me all to yourself. Share it. A book is always better when you read with a friend like Booker. Hi. Yep, he loves it. He's one of my favorite stuffed animals. I got it when I was at the ICB bookstore. And it was given to them to give to their readers and visitors for the story times by the Build-A-Bear Company. Yes, how cute, right? And I also read to my other stuffed animal friend. I love it. He's got a little peace bear. I love all his rainbow colors. He almost looks like a big bowl of rainbow sherbet ice cream. That's why I named him Sherbert. <laughs> I love to read to my stuffed animals. You can read to your brothers or sisters or anybody in your home. Or you know what? A pet. Yeah, it could be your hamster or a lizard or a dog or a cat. Or you know what? Just find your nice quiet corner and read your book. Or wherever you are. Maybe in the bus or on a plane ride or a train ride. It's okay. Bring your books with you and read them. Read them to the people sitting next to you if they'll let you. Oh, you know. Go crazy. Go wild. Okay. Ready for a story? I am. This is called God is God and We Are Not. It is written by Carol Barner, the author, and Rachel Asen, the illustrator. The author is the name that we call a person who writes a book. And the illustrator, say that with me, Ill illustrator illustrator. Those, that's the person who draws the stories and the pictures in the story. Yeah, and you know what? Even though you may not, um, you may not know how to write words or even read the words, you can use pictures to tell a story. And then when you get to that picture, even if it's just a dot, it could be a speck of sand, it could be a salt, it could be anything that you want it to be when you're telling your story. That's right. You can be an author and an illustrator of your very own book. God is God and we are not. And look, inside you can make your own dedication. So if you want to dedicate it to your pet rock, you can do whatever you want because it's your book. A dedication is like, hmm... I dedicate this book. So you wrote this book for someone in mind. That's right. They inspired you maybe. Someone that made you feel good about yourself. Did I skip a page? Oh, the fish that swims. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I skipped a page. That doesn't sound right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we worship God who makes all things the fish that swim, and the bird that sings. Creations, breath, and all within. The wondrous web that the spider spins. The itsy-bitsy spider went up the... Oh, yeah, that one. See, there he is. Did you see that spider there? The creatures all, both great, like the elephant, and small. Oh, that's one of Miss Tracy's favorite birds, the hummingbird. And people, too, who hear God's call. To be a place where love is found. Wait a minute. I think I skipped the page again. 
No, I didn't. To be a place where love is found. Oh, he's talking about me and you inside our hearts and our in our minds. Where hope is built and walls torn down. Music and art, the dancing heart, can intertwine to play a part. In God's creation, always new, diversity is unfolding too. Sometimes the way that people think can turn the world into a stink, like pollution, oh, and wars, and just being mean. We can see that we forgot that God is God and we are not. Look at all the pollution. That's not very nice, people. When caring doesn't take the lead, we break relationships we need. Hmm. When any person, large or small, is set aside or hurt at all, If God's children have no food to eat, if at the table there is no seat, we must share the juice and the bread. We are God's partners, God has said. To kindle minds and open hearts, we e we're each called to do our part. Jesus then has shown us how to be God's love both here and now. Through faith we seek to always hear how God can take away our fear. Let's share the gifts, the gifts we've got, which come from God, the God we're not always good to share except for not your your gold your cold germs that's not good to share those <laughs> the end and this is the author and the illustrator they are the ladies who made this book cool bean thank you very much to miss carol Bar barner and rachel ason very good god is god and we are not Got it at the I See Me bookstore. You can go and get your own copy as well. And you can write to or go to www.icme.com or give them a call at 314-349-1122. And I'd like to teach you a quick song. You want to do it? You want to learn a new song? It's kind of fun. You get to do it with your hands. Ready? Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together. Squeaky clean, squeaky clean. Yes, you just learned the hand washing song. Teach it to your friends, and by the time that you guys are done with singing that song while you're washing your hands with warm soap and water, you'll have squeaky clean hands, and guess what? We'll have a clean, healthy community, and you'll keep the books clean, you'll keep your household clean, won't you? I know. You know what? After you learn that song, you deserve a hug. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug. You feel so good when you give yourself a hug. <laughs> I just made up that song. I love reading stories, and I hope that you like the story that you just heard. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little red button that says subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate you for doing that. And be sure to share it. Yep, yeah, and let me know. Let me know who's watching. I'd love to give shouts out to my to my friends who are reading, and I'll shout out your teacher, your school, all of that good stuff. Yep, be sure to read a book a day. It may even be the same book. Yep, just keep moving forward, turning those pages. It's really fun. I enjoy it. And moms and dad, if you're out there watching with your kiddo, if they're not sitting down in front of the TV or sitting down right next to you and listening to a book, don't worry. Let them run around. It's okay because they're listening, even though they may not. You know what you do? How you test them? 
Say it the wrong way. After you've read the book like 6,000 times, say it the wrong way. You'll know they're listening for sure, all right? And read, have them read it to your pet, to their pets or stuffed animals or things like that. And let them, and ask them questions about what they're reading. It's really good for them. Okay, that's my little tip from Miss Tracy. You know it's time to see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Polar bear, wave goodbye. Butterfly. See you next video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. <laughs>